Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Dutchman Games, and today we're going to make a main menu. Now, uh, basically, uh, the last episode of the dungeon creation tutorials, we've actually made two dungeon maps. And let's say I want to use this dungeon map as a main menu. So you'll stand like this. You'll get the menu in your in your face right here. Uh, we can actually make that happen. So let's first start with spawning the player start. The player start in this map is going to be the standard starting uh, point. So if we click now, uh, we will actually get the third person character because this map was created with the third person character uh, base. But uh, what we need is we need the uh, world settings. So go to settings in the top right and click on world settings. And then we need to go to game mode override and we need to click on just game mode. What happens is now we are in a kind of a camera angle, right? And this will be the base view of our main screen. Now, in order for us not to move, we need to change the level blueprint. So you want to go to this tab right here and then you want to open the level blueprint. Now, this is super easy. You have the event begin play and all you need to do is you need to type in UI. And here you see set input mode UI only. Then you need to take the player character and you need to say get player controller. I mean player controller, sorry. And then from the player controller, you need to go and get set mouse. Uh, uh, sorry, set cursor. So set show mouse cursor. Tick that. And now what will happen is the moment we start this map, we will actually have the mouse cursor and we cannot move. I'm trying to move. I don't know if you can hear that, but we can't move. So now we need to set up a widget that will show the main menu. And this is also not too hard. We need to go to right click in the box where you can add items. And then we need to go to user interface and get the widget blueprint. Just get a widget blueprint. Call it W underscore main menu. Open it. And now we have our widget blueprint. Now, some people, uh, they want absolute positioning. So they will add vertical boxes and, and, and all kinds of boxes. Uh, it is better to do that for the long term. But in order to show my work, I'm just going to use canvas panels. So get the canvas panel and put it under main menu. So in this canvas panel, uh, and, and this will be the screen, we can just place whatever we want. So we're gonna place three buttons and we're gonna anchor them to the middle. Now make these buttons around this big and maybe, yeah, place them like right in between these, uh, these grids kind of like like this yeah kind of like that put a text in it and this text will say play game and then you want to copy paste the panel or the button sorry put it in the in the grid under it and this one will say settings and then we will copy this over and put it in the bottom here and this one will say quit now it, it select them all and what you want to do is you want to go to style and you want to go to normal tint leave this as it is go to hovered tint place the a section of the tint to 0 0.8 pressed place the a section of the tint to 0 0.5 when you have a hovered sound Put it on, I don't know, put it on whatever you want. Put it on camera shutter, press sound, click on button. Just do something with it, doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever you want. So right now, uh, this is all set up. What you want to do is you want to click on, on the button quit, go all the way down in the details panel and uh, select on clicked. From here, you want to type in quit. So this will just quit game. That's it. 
then uh, the settings will not do anything for now you can add a different uh, widget to that if you want but for now it won't do anything go to I think this one's out of there we go go to play game go to unclicked and then this is the play game button and you know just to be concise you can actually change this play game button you know quit button settings button just to make everything look neat so now you know which one you're working with in the uh, graph and you need to do open level and this will be level one for example so this has to be exact to the name of the level right exact so you just need to keep that in mind um, I always like to save on compile on success only so it will save everything automatically now we need to go back to the level blueprint and we need to after this uh, create widget main menu I don't know why I'm saying that weird but and add to viewport then we want to uh, actually uh, then what we want to do is we want to actually uh, save this map as uh, level one uh, just continue okay whatever and then from here we need to change the level blueprint just delete everything right and then also the world settings revert them to what they were and you know move the you can just move this or whatever put it there so it looks different and uh, now we'll go back to the uh, big open dungeon map because this is the main level and so the moment we press play we actually get the main menu with all the sounds play game settings quit and once we click on quit it will quit once we click on play game we'll be on level one and we can't move why can't we move because as you remember at the beginning of the of the level blueprint we turned these two things on so we need to turn these two things off the moment we load the other map or alternatively something better we can put it behind play button so you can copy them over but for simplicity's sake i'll just do them again so game mode set input to game mode only get player controller and then uh, then from the play controller set cursor set show mouse cursor to off otherwise you'll have a mouse cursor on your screen that's very very weird right so there we go this should work fine there we go now we have a main menu that we can easily use and expand upon and we have our first level that we can play in um, if you guys want to see me develop this little level and game into an actual game an actual like rpg game let me know uh, because i'm actually thinking about doing that i have a series on unreal engine 4 where i'm doing that but because unreal engine 5 is uh, much more popular and you know it's the new thing obviously still um that's better to do it in there i think so let me know if you guys want to see this turn into a whole like series where i'll show you how to make a game but i'll also show you how to make the levels for the game and i'll show you how to make everything from scratch right uh so yeah let me know i'd love to do that that'd be fun so uh all right well my name was uh dutchman games and uh i'll see you guys in the next one cheers